The Department of Geosciences in Potsdam is the strangest department you will ever see anywhere in the world because it's not just a group of professors who work together in the university. We have a unique situation where several external research institutes are also linked to us and professors who are part of the university work in these research institutes which means that our students have access to research facilities at the university but also research facilities in external institutes. We have 30 such institutes linked to the faculty. The disciplines that are present at the University of Potsdam are quite diverse, so it's pretty exciting to discuss research with colleagues as well. My research is earthquakes on volcanoes, and we also study volcano analogues and associated hazards such as subglacial floods. We work with arrays to track moving sources to record weak signals and we also have exciting new instruments which are rotational sensors and we can use them to combine them with a normal seismometer to hopefully get array-like results and we're like one of the few groups worldwide that actually have these sensors. My topic is geological remote sensing and I am working with remote sensing imagery and earth surface processes, ranging from optical data to radar data or laser data, and we are using all of those different techniques. And the combination of this makes it very unique to study the earth surface and understand, for example, erosion, debris flows, and the impact on the infrastructure, characterizing natural hazards, understanding landslides, understanding the impact of earthquakes, so one thing that I'm working on right now is combining both um, geochemical estimates of um, erosion rates, for example, with remote sensing um, proxies, and we're developing new remote sensing proxies that we can then validate with these geochemical methods. And that's one thing that's really great about the University of Potsdam, is that we actually have the infrastructure here to do both. We have state-of-the-art geochemical labs and also the computational power to process this data. This institute is a, is a unique place to work, to work in because of this combination that we have of really top-level scientists with the, um, this setup of labs that are absolutely top-level. My research area is trying to tackle the problems of what's happening at depth in terms of fluids involved in plate tectonics, involved in mountain building uh, processes. And in the last years, we worked hard to make Potsdam a real hub for this kind of investigation. I'm a structural geologist uh, working in East Africa. I'm working on the extensional tectonics in the East African Rift, more specifically in Kenya. And I study the extension of the rift and we use drones to generate high resolution elevation models. And we have basically drones and survey equipment for every different task we need. What is great at the University of Potsdam is that we focus in various applications. We can develop our methodology to many topics. Here we have actually the instrumentations, which is state of the art. For example, with the georadar, we send an electromagnetic pulse inside the ground to detect structures. And with students, we try to develop and to explore new ways to collect the data to get more information into, for example, archaeological targets or water content in the soil. The 3D capabilities that we have here are for visualization and for analysis, meaning that we can dive into the three-dimensional world in that way and that we can perform analysis on the point clouds as if we would be in the field. So it's both for educational purposes that we teach the future generation how three-dimensional structures look like, but also for analytic purposes. The Institute of Geosciences has 120 incoming bachelor students every year and we have about 20 master students starting every year and we have a large number of PhD students, more than 50 PhD students that are currently at the, at the department. My research project is uh, Carbopat and we are focusing on carbonates at high pressure and high temperature using different high pressure techniques. It's really nice to do the PhD here because we have a laboratory full equipped uh, for doing this kind of research, but also we are close to different institutes that can allow us to expand the, the data or the experience that we want to do. 
I think the University of Potsdam is a great place to study because the University of Potsdam has a lot of instruments that are vital for field research, like for example drones or uh, GPS uh, instruments that we need to, if we go to the field, to collect high precision GPS points or drone data, doing drone flights. Innovation in teaching is a core feature of our faculty, always has been. Research-based teaching is what we do. Every student at bachelor level is involved in a research project of their own. Every student at master level is involved in a research project of their own. Field work is core, laboratories, so that we can actually get all of our students to actually be involved in measuring things themselves. I would like to have a future generation of students understand what it means standing in the field and reading the rocks, but also being able to quantify processes using modern remote sensing data. The other thing that makes it unique is that this is a growing university with still lots of potential for growth, and that makes it unique to establish a strong geoscientific educational program.